God bless you. How are you? My God. you join go ahead and share my god yes just came to let you know hello sister Raquel welcome I just came to let you know whatever you're going through it is well whatever your story is it is well yes good afternoon welcome May the Lord bless you. I encourage you to share. Hallelujah. Hey, South Carolina. Welcome. Go ahead and share. Whatever you're going through, I came to tell you it is well. Jesus. Yes. Welcome. God bless you all. See, even when I'm on, on vacation, that's why I know something is wrong with me. Even when I'm on my vacation, I have the prayer shawl. The prayer shawl is also a piece of my clothes. It came with me. I can't do without it. Hallelujah. <laughs> yes. I'm hooked on them. I can't do without it. So I encourage you to remember me when you pray. Sometimes I think something is wrong with me. Hallelujah, let us pray. I want you to be in the spirit right now. Yes. Hallelujah. I am inviting you to be in the spirit. Be in the spirit. Hallelujah, thank you. Oh, someone is greetings from Fiji Island. Welcome. God bless you. God bless you, Fiji Island. Hallelujah. I want you to know that there is nothing impossible with God. 
as I sit here on this bed. I'm here to tell you, be in the spirit wherever you go. Don't be ashamed of the gospel. Hallelujah. Jesus. I'm thankful to God for his goodness and his mercies. Let us pray before I even say another word. Jesus. <laughs> That's all I can say. Let us pray. We give honor and praise to Almighty God who is head of this ministry. Hallelujah. We give honor. Let us first give honor and praise to the Holy Spirit who is head of our life, who is head of this ministry. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Welcome, welcome. As you join, I invite you to share. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. Jesus, let us pray. Father, I just want to say thank you for your people. Bless them, oh God. It is the ninth month of the year. We have entered into a new month. And Lord, I ask you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whatever they're doing, whatever they're going through, Lord, I ask you, you said there is nothing impossible with you. And I ask you, Lord God, to give them testimonies. Give them the opportunity to rejoice anyone among us that is going through hardship I ask you to bless them bless their finances bless their children as they are getting ready to go back to school I ask you Lord God to protect them from bully divine protection over these children protect their eye gates and their ear gates let them only hear what you want them to hear, Lord. Let these children that are going back to school in this season, Lord God, let them see only what you want them to see. And anything that is coming up against these young children, we set fire to it in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as we are coming close to the end of the year, Many have not received their testimony as yet. And therefore, Lord God, I ask you to pass through their home like a rushing mighty wind and destroy everything that is in their house that does not glorify you so they can be blessed. Let your will be done with your people, Lord. Those who are not working, I ask you, Lord, to provide for them. Provide jobs for them. Those who are paying tithes, Oh, Jesus, I ask you to bless them. Fight for them. Emmanuel, meaning God with us. El Shaddai, Almighty God, I ask you right now to fight for the tithers that are among us. Fight for those who are sowing seeds. Lord, I ask you to fight for them. Allow them to reap, oh God, what they have sown. I ask you, Lord God, to double upon their increase. Jesus. Mighty God, I ask you to take control of your children. Guide them. Lead them into the path that you want them to follow. Oh God, I pray right now that those people that are connected to us, give them testimonies. Let them declare that it is well. Bless them, O oh God. Remember the single men that are on this platform, that are a part of this ministry. Remember the single women. My God, I ask you to turn.
turn it around for them. Put a smile on their face. Lord, I ask you to comfort them. And for those who are in long distance relationship, oh God, I ask you to favor them. Ha. Ah, show them favor, divine favor. And for those who are retired and tired, they have retired and they are tired physically. I ask you, Lord God, to strengthen them in this season. You said August was a month of overflow. And therefore, Lord God, we are asking for a blessing in September. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Even now, O oh God, we invite the Holy Spirit to take over. Ah, have your way. Have your way, O oh God. I cover myself right now in the blood of Jesus. I cover myself right now in the blood of Jesus Christ. And I bless your people that are gathering. Let it be well with them. Let it be well with them. Let them know, O oh God, that you are still here. Let them know, O oh God, that you are still on the throne. Let them know, O oh God, that the tomb is empty. Ah, Jesus. Let them know that you are still in the miracle business. Let them know that you are still healing. Let them know, O oh God, that you are still delivering. Let them know that you are a miracle worker and you're still working miracles. Let them know, oh God, that it's not too late. Let your people know tonight, oh God, that it's not too late, that you are an on-time God. Let your people know, mighty God, that it will be well with them. I pray tonight. I pray right now that there will be a turnaround before the sun goes down on Sunday. There will be a turnaround before the sun goes down on Sunday. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are here. You are here. And we welcome you. We welcome you, Daddy Jesus. We welcome you. We welcome you. It doesn't matter what man said. We believe in your report. We believe in your report, your final report, Lord God, that the children that are connected to this ministry will be delivered. The young women that are connected to this ministry, they will be delivered and set free. The men that are connected to this ministry, they will be delivered and set free. And for those who are facing the spirit of lack, oh God, I ask you to bless them. You said we will never lack any good thing. You said, oh God, in the word that we will never lack anything that is good. And Lord God, I pray that they will be blessed with good things. I pray right now that goodness and mercy shall follow them all the days of their life and they will dwell. They will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This almighty God, I ask you to remove ovarian cancer. I speak against ovarian cancer in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come against ovarian cancer. I come against brain tumor. You brain tumor from the pit of hell. I destroy you by the blood of Jesus Christ. You arthritis. You arthritis. I send you back to the pit of hell. 
I send you back arthritis to the pit of hell. You back pain. I speak to that back pain right now. Someone is here struggling with that back pain. I speak to that back pain. It has to go. It has to go. It has to go. It has to go right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It has to go. Mighty God, let your will be done. Bless your people this hour. You said you will bring hope to the hopeless. You said you will bring shelter to the homeless. You, you said you will be a father to the fatherless. You said you'll be a husband to the widow. Have your way. Have your way, oh God. Do something new in this season. Do something new for your people. Somebody is mourning the loss of a relative. Comfort them, oh Lord. You said you leave us the Holy Spirit who is a wonderful comforter. They will, you will comfort us. And therefore, Holy Spirit, I ask you to comfort those who are mourning in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Holy Spirit, come and dine with us. Oh, come and dine with us. We know you're here. Let your will be done. As I surrender myself to you, use me to your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Jesus. Somebody bless the Lord. So, somebody bless God. Whatever you're going through, I encourage you to bless the Lord. Forget about your problems. It is well. Forget about your troubles. It is well. Mighty God. Forget about your pain. I know a miracle worker, Jesus. I'm praying tonight that anyone on this platform that is undocumented, they will be released in the name of Jesus. I pray for a miracle to take place in your life. I pray for a miracle to take place in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that there will be a, a movement, a transformation, a performance in your life. I pray God will honor this prayer. Jesus, my God, welcome wherever you are connecting from. I encourage you to share this message. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's late where I am. It's almost midnight. Amen. Hallelujah. And as you all know that I have traveled, God has been faithful. Today, I was at the Vatican City in Rome and it was something else. Jesus. Now I see why Italy is so important in the Bible. You see, if you're here and you know me, I am, I love to research. I like to dig deep. So it was always my desire to go to Rome 
and God has opened the door and I'm sitting here to let you know whatever you desire of the Lord he will make it possible he will make a way where there seems to be no way amen I pray that everyone that has stretched forth your hands to bless this ministry so I could take this trip as the Lord take me places I pray he take you places I pray that the things that I'm doing for the Lord because of the door that he has opened in this trip I pray for those of you who didn't make a throne who gave cheerfully generously I pray that you will testify because of this trip it is my first time here in Italy and I'm thankful to God that I was able to be here and uh, it's like a dream for me now that I'm here it's like I've been here before when I went to the Vatican City and I don't know if everyone knows the Vatican City is the Cathedral Church I you know there was a tour today I tried to go live but there the connection wasn't good and they have a lot of restrictions but I'm thankful to God the areas that I was able to go live I couldn't get to do it because of the reception it was so bad and each time I learned something new today I thought about El Shaddai prayer tower each time because I was the whole time toward the church the museum and the things that I experience one of the things that they said that 25,000 people daily go to the Vatican City in Rome so every day of the year the place facilitate 25,000 people go there on tour every day every day unless they are going to charge a priest or appoint a priest yes so I'm thankful to God that I was able to do it it has always been my desire ever since I was a kid so you that are here that join hands to make this possible this trip a success and the word success meaning I'm able to come and go to the Vatican City may the Lord bless you and I'm here to say I would like for you to pray for the people that assist me out here in Italy yes the people that showed me love that received me in their home pray for them pray it is the favor of God it's my first time here and it feels like I live here and I know this is God so for those of you who are here watching I encourage you to pray for me and pray for the people that are standing with me in prayer and pray for the people who the Lord is using to be a blessing 
to us because whatever they do to me they do for you jesus said the least you can do for my people you're doing it for me hallelujah so i'm here to thank god for each and every one of you and i pray that you will never go broke you will never know lack you will never see hardship that is my prayer and as i travel the world to gain all this knowledge so i can impart it on you i pray that the lord take you higher i pray that the same way that i am traveling to do his work that he will bless you i don't know where i'm going but i know who is in front of me jesus i don't know where i am going but i know who is in front of me i know who is standing with me so i thank god and i thank each and every one of you that are here tonight to hear this it's a blessing it is a privilege it is an honor yes i'm tired it's almost midnight here and i know in some places it's like after 5 p.m. yeah many times i want to go live and i just crash in the bed but i want you to know this god is a faithful god and i want you to continue to believe according to the book of matthew continue to ask continue to knock continue to seek and you will find knock continue to ask and it will be given to you hallelujah i'm thankful to god as i go along this journey as he lead me i will follow him i encourage you to follow me to jesus christ follow me to jesus christ what i experience today you have to be in the spirit to gain certain insight like i said 25000 people i was among 25000 people today i was one Amen. So we thank God for El Shaddai prayer tower. I encourage you to be continue to be faithful, to continue to believe that there is nothing impossible with God. Continue to believe that whatever you sow in this ministry, you will see your reward. Your seed will germinate and bear fruit. We serve a mighty God. Amen. You should see my face this morning. I got up after three a.m. and get ready to go to see the Vatican City. When we were leaving, the line was a mile or more long for people that are waiting to enter the building. It is the largest church in the whole world. One of the thing that they said the if you know about the Statue of Liberty, there's a area in the church that they said it could fit right there. The Statue of Liberty could fit inside of the building at one little spot. That's how big the place is. So I'm here people of God to share this with you tonight. I pray that the Lord will open doors for many of you to travel with me to see the world. 
not just to see through my eyes what I'm saying, to experience God. My God. When you come here, be in the spirit. Rome is something else. And as I go on, I will give you little bits and pieces yes of Italy it's a beautiful place but now that I one of the thing I said today one of the things I have said today it came out of my mouth that if I never had another meal for the rest of this trip, I would not even get upset. Why? Because today, something happened in my life that will affect many lives. In my family, in the ministry, in my generation. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm saying it because it is well. Hallelujah. I pray the Lord bless you as I speak. It blesses your spirit. You'll begin to believe that there is a God when and there is nothing impossible. I remember hearing these words. Many people saved for years just to visit Rome. They cash in on their savings just to visit Rome, to go to see the Vatican City, to experience the place where Peter tomb is located. Oh yeah, he was hung upside down. A lot of events in the Bible took place in Rome. Paul was sent there for trial. It, it, it's, it's something that it, it will, it will, the Bible will begin to make sense to you when you hear the stories and you see the areas that directs you to the Bible. People of God don't worship the Bible. Allow the Bible to lead you into worship. Don't worship. Don't worship the book. Allow the book to lead you into worship. What's in here is God. And He's everywhere. But the experience, it was something else. So it is my prayer that each and every one of you here that is watching will have this experience to visit those places and have someone to not just visit have someone to explain the stories that took place and and the history behind the stories a lot of things happened so I'm here to let you know I thank God for your life I thank God for what he's about to do in your life I thank God for your faithfulness to him and I pray that you will call with your testimony you will send me a message and said Reb this is what happened because I was able to stretch with my hands to be a blessing for, for things to happen for El Shaddai. God has opened all my doors. God has blessed my children and my grandchildren. God has blessed me. Those are the testimonies. God has healed me. I'm waiting for people to call and say, I am healed. My daughter is delivered. My son is set free. Demons flee. The Bible said demons tremble. At the presence of God. I 
A lot of things that people do, it's just formality. Yes. So we pray that from now on, you, the Bible will begin to make sense to you. Yes. You will walk those places and come back to share your knowledge. Amen. May the Lord open your eyes. Hallelujah. May the Lord open your eyes. Listen, people of God. Be in the spirit. It is well. We thank God for his goodness and his mercies. In the kingdom of God, there are no color. Mm -mm. No. So we thank God for shared knowledge. And I just want to ask a question tonight. I know I've been missed, but I'm doing my best every time I go somewhere to give you a little snippet. So just bear with me. The network here in this place is not good. We thank God that tonight I can go live. You know, I don't know what it looks like on your end, but I thank God that I'm able to do it. It is well. Remember, on the 15th of this month, we are going on our fasting. Today is the third day of the month. And I'm praying that doors will be opened. That is my prayer. That doors will be open. Hallelujah. Doors will be open. For many of you. And I'm thankful to God. But I'm able, because I'm tired. I've been up since 3 a.m. And uh, it's almost midnight. And don't worry about naysayers. When someone, you know, come around and they're acting weird or funny, let them be. Ignore them. You can't cast your, your, your pearls at swine. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't waste your time on you know, things that are irrelevant. Don't do it. We thank God for what he's doing here. And, and I'm going to say this right here. If everyone is in agreement with you, you're doing something wrong. If everyone loves you, you're doing something wrong. You need haters in life. If everyone agrees with what you're doing, it means that you're doing it wrong. So I encourage you to don't stop, place your focus, stop concerning yourself with the things that doesn't matter. Amen. Listen. I said something, I don't know if anyone get it. If I don't eat another meal here in Italy, until I go back home, I wouldn't be mad because of what the Lord did. There are many places to see in Italy. There are many places to see. But Rome, it felt like a burden came off of me when I left that place. I felt like I'm free because all my young years it was my desire to be there and I was not in ministry when I was young so God was working it out and there are many more places to visit 
across the world. But I'm here to share this with you. Whatever you desire that is of God, don't give up. Don't, don't, don't turn your back on your dreams. And don't be selfish. Share knowledge. Mm -hmm. Don't give up on your dreams. One day, the Bible said, seek and you'll find. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Knock and those doors will open. One day. There are some people that took out loans just to visit Rome or Israel. There are some people that borrow in lump sum to do it. Hallelujah. But I'm here to let you know it's not one of those cases. The Lord could have found different ways of doing it, but he wants you to benefit from this. Amen. And we thank God for El Shaddai Prayer Tower. Tonight, I don't know who God is using me to talk to, but I am here to encourage you. Welcome. God bless you. May the Lord continue to bless each and every one of you here. Amen. I'll be here for a little while longer, but I'm thankful to God. I don't know. I just, I just can't take a break every chance I get I try to go live and the network is bad so I'm miserable I'm supposed to be on my vacation hallelujah yes I am supposed to be on vacation take a break from the ministry and, and rest but it's not the case so I, I don't know what I'm going to do because this is supposed to be vacation and I'm on the live. <laughs> yes. Every chance I get. There's a time when they told us you can't take no pictures in here. We will lose our license and this, this, this and the third. And then when we get to a different spot in the museum, they said you can go ahead and take pictures. I didn't take picture, I tried to go live so you could see and the thing wouldn't happen. So you don't know how frustrating that is. You know, I went there with my selfie stick, hold up my phone, ready to go, nothing. Amen, but we thank God. We thank God for what he's doing. Hallelujah. Sister Shelly Ann, I have not forgotten you, but you already know that I travel. I have not forgotten you. Glory to God. Amen. I just want you to know. Allow me to come back and, and we will handle business. Glory be to God. So any one of you out here on this platform, and you have your friends or your relatives out here in Italy, let me know. Mm -hmm. Just let me know. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I just can't stop. I don't know why I... I feel, I don't know, I am committed, but at the same time, I'm supposed to be rested, and it's not happening. Every chance I get, I, am, I desire to show you what's happening, show you what I'm doing. I want you to see it. You don't, no one is calling me to hear anything. I'm showing it to you. I'm bringing it to you because it's my desire for you to live this with me through my eyes. So whatever I see, you will see. So you're living it with me as if you are here. Yeah? As if you are here. I want you to know, continue to pray my strength. So tomorrow, I have decided to go live. 
uh, in the evening because in the morning it's the different time zone midday here is 6 a.m. in your town or 7 a.m. so it's not really working no so it would be like 2 p.m. like 8 o'clock Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to go live in the afternoon. Amen. So you're not going to get a Sunday morning service because it's I can't navigate with the time. It would be afternoon here. So just bear with me this Sunday. I will come live in the evening. Hallelujah. And I just want to let you know I love you all. I love you with the love of the Lord. I'm not only praying for you. I am believing God for you. in God for you and when I and let me let me say something I wanted to go to Rome when I went to England it didn't happen I wanted to travel somewhere to another country it didn't happen so I was speaking to someone in America who said to me if you go to uh, Italy or France, wear your pocketbook on your chest, like those bag, those sacks. And I didn't understand. They said there are a lot of pickpockets in France, a lot of pickpockets in Italy. And I experienced it. I went on the train, and when I went on the train, on my way to step into the train, the young man, he throw his jacket over the lady purse and it stood in front of her and his hand was digging in her purse. Now I thought that she was talking to him, they were having conversation. He was a thief. So they rob you different over here. He cast his jacket on her bag and had his hand in her. And a young lady just jumped on him. It was so crazy. And I want you to know this. God allowed me to see that. I don't know if it was me what I would have done. But he was young. And I was so angry. They jumped on him. So I'm here to let you know. They're everywhere. Remember, 25,000 people daily go to the Vatican City in Rome it means that all kinds of scammers are on the loose so wherever you go they got thieves somebody's trying to hustle I, 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 I was frightened I was blown away I'm like, I just move out of the way because I don't know if he had a gun or what. He had a jacket, his hand under it, and he was going through her bag. A young lady jumped on him. And he's a young man. I'm like, wow, look at this. So I was aware. So my bag was always closed. People of God, listen. When someone says something to you, they know it's a lot of tourists in the area yes so pay attention don't brush things off so I pray yeah my eyes were wide open I was just coming out of that place so you know I, I'm excited I am alert something happened to me today I can't shake the feeling so I'm here to sh celebrate with you tonight it is well. I'm thankful. 
No. They were in the train station. It took place in the train station. And of course, yes, they entered the Vatican City as well because if 25,000 people are entering daily, a lot of them are getting robbed and they don't know because they are with tour guides and they are focused on whatever stories they're hearing. So, yes, but we thank God for His goodness and His mercies. I was, I was laughing in the end but somehow I was kind of angry to see a young man trying to rob a woman and another woman start beating him jump on him jump on him literally jump on him so I'm here to let you know people of God whatever you're doing be honest be thankful to God for everything that he placed before you even if it's a male be thankful to God. Bless it. If your house is peaceful, thank God. Yes. If you are able to pray for someone, thank God that he give you the ability to pray for someone. Thank God. If you are able to bless someone with a meal, thank God that you are able to give. It's a gift. I, I don't know who God is using me to talk to here, but tonight we silence the enemies because of what the Lord has done. So I pray that you will testify in this season and your $10 bill or your $50 bill or your $100 bill which was released so Rev could travel. I pray that God will increase it and bring it back to you. Amen. Hallelujah. And like I said, I will see you tomorrow afternoon. I won't be able to come on in the morning. The time is iffy because the time zone is different. There's a six hour difference. Amen. So be good now and remember your fasting is coming up. I'm excited to be here to talk to you tonight. Yes, I am without any interruption from the network. I want you to know that great things are happening for the ministry and uh, we're not going to give up. We, are, we came too far. To, to, dear, listen, you're saying I should enjoy my vacation. Every chance I get, I try to go live. Because I want you to see what I'm doing. <laughs> All right? And yeah, we have more places to go. And we pray to God that we will have good service with the phones. So in the meantime, I encourage you to take care of yourself and continue to pray my strength. Continue to pray for the people that are standing with me out here in Italy. Continue to pray for the people who are feeding me. Yes. I said, feed me, yes. Continue to pray for the people that give me a place to lay my head. Amen? It's very expensive out here. The dollar is very strong against the US dollar, so continue to pray for the Lord to continue to bless me. Amen. Once again, I want you to know I love you with the love of the Lord. My time is up. I'm going to take my leave now. I am not adjusted yet to the time. And that's why <laughs> I feel bad. Because at 6 o'clock in the morning, 
here. I'm ready to go to bed because that's midnight in America. Mm -hmm. I'm not bringing back anything, Sister Sophia. Somebody gave me a place to stay. I can't bring anything back. And somebody's feeding me. What am I going to bring back? Unless you want me to bring my meal. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. I love you too. I love you with the love of the Lord. Once again, you will all see me tomorrow evening. Right? Because now it's... Evening time. When it's almost midnight here. So, I will see you all tomorrow evening. Be blessed of the Lord. And take care of yourself. And, and be safe. Be safe. I'm having a hard time here. Because I have to walk to and from places. Because everything is in close proximity. So, it's not easy. I think I lost some weight just today alone. Because I had to walk. And I'm not a good walker anymore. So pray my strength to be disciplined when I go back home to continue with my exercise. All right? I did not know I was so out of shape. <laughs> I'm serious. I did not know I was so out of shape. I say this with no shame. I'm not trying to be funny. I did not know I was so out of shape until I came to Italy. Everywhere else I go, I'm jumping from a car to one next car, but now I'm out here. I'm jumping on my, my, my two, my, 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 my transportation. I got my own two-wheel transportation. Amen. So pray my strength. It's a good experience. Same thing when I was in England. No, lie. When I was in England, I had Sister Pauline and a few more loved ones that were toting me around but out here no this is nice because i get to really see what it's like ten to turbo no two wheel turbo <laughs> I, i'm not gonna lie to you i'm always walking in the back and i feel so bad because i keep every I, yes i hold the crowd back even in the tour, and there are so many steps. Oh God, there are so many steps. But just continue to pray for me. All right, people of God. I know I'm burning calories, but I, it's hard. It's hard. Pray my strength. Yes, pray my strength. I didn't know it would be so hard. Not even in the gym, because I have to run to catch the train. I'm not from New York. I'm not used to those things. So I, I, I you know, I have to step up my game. <laughs> I have to step up my game. And I'm thankful to God for this experience that I'm having. Yes, I'm thankful to God for this experience that I'm having. I did not know I was so out of shape. Today, my whole clothes was soaking wet. Because I'm sweating. So just continue to pray for me, alright? And I'm gonna start taking better care of myself because I don't like how I feel in my body. Amen. Thank you. God bless you all. I have to go now. Remember, share this broadcast. A lot of people are messaging me saying that they don't know when I'm live so I encourage you to share the broadcast amen I just came to share this experience that I had today in Rome it was such a blessing hallelujah yes every time I travel I feel the benefit America spoil me yeah but I'm, I'm working on it I ask God to help me to be more disciplined all right I'll see you all tomorrow. Have yourself a wonderful night, wonderful evening. I wish I could be here with you for a little while longer. But I'm going to rest tomorrow. Come prepared to pray. Amen.
tomorrow I invite you to come prepared see I travel with my prayer shawl I'm in business I couldn't leave it yeah come good night come prepared to pray tomorrow have yourself a wonderful evening hallelujah be blessed of the lord god bless you all take care don't get discouraged because you don't see me as often as you expect to see me i'm here all right i'm trying to get get us some information to come back to feed you amen <laughs>